Welcome back. So we know that globes help us find locations on our planet, but sometimes this could be very cumbersome to carry around with you, maybe if you were going on a trip or an adventure. So how did we go from the spherical globe to, to a flat map like this? Well, the answer is not that easily, but I have a demonstration that I'm going to do that can get us a better idea of how we get to, from a globe to a flat map. For this demonstration, we are going to pretend like this cutie or this little orange <clears throat> is our globe. And we wanna turn this globe into a flat map like the one beneath my workspace. So the first step is, is I need to turn this into a globe. So I am going to draw on some continents. Now they are not going to be exactly like our Earth's continents. I'm going to kind of make up my own continents and I am going to draw those on and then I will be right back. Okay, I've drawn on some continents. And now the next step is I want to get this into strips so I can try to make it flat like a map. So I'm going to start just at the very top and I'm going to cut down to the bottom. Now, if you are doing this, if you decide you want to do this project, you need to make sure you get an adult to help you with this part. And then I'm going to cut another strip down and peel off this piece of our globe. Now it should lay down flat. Okay, so that's the first step. And what I'm gonna need to do is cut the rest of the globe into strips and lay them out flat. So I will cut them out and be right back. Okay, I finished cutting my globe into strips and you can see that it does lay flat, but there are spaces, there are gaps, because we took a sphere and cut it into flat strips. Um, and they're not the same shape. It's a 3D shape trying to be a 2D shape. So when map makers when create maps, they have to fill in these spaces. They have to stretch these images of these continents so that they will reach each other. And so this is something that's very important to remember when looking at maps. Some maps are more correct than others in the way that they stretch or distort the continents, the, the water forms and the land forms to make them fit into a flat map.